What's up guys, it's Ralph Misha and welcome to another Pokemon opening video today. As you can see in front of me I have two Hidden Fates tins. Um, I got the Raichu and I managed to get a Charizard as well. Both for the same price, at a discounted price, quite a heavily discounted price from uh, my local game store. So thank you very much Stuart for that. Top man, if you're ever in Fish Ponds, go ahead and go in game scene. Because um, they're, they're the only game store in Fish Ponds. Um, and they're just amazing people and they're really really lovely people um, he also gave me these for free as well so we've got a promo pack with a shift tree and a Vivian in it um, I've managed to sort of push the card up to see it and then these are two Sun and Moon promo packs that have a bunch of different promos in um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them I might keep them all sealed but um, just some lovely little extras there um, but obviously you guys are here to see me crack these. I could, if I really wanted to, uh, sell this tin for probably double what I paid for it, but I am not about that. I am about opening product. I don't buy to resell, I buy to open. So let's open up both these tins, get all the promos, the packs out, etc. And I'll be back to you with the opened tins. So here's everything that we get in the tins, of course. Um, I put the tins off to the side. I know you can't see the right one very well, but it's only the lid that's actually different. Um, the actual rest of the tins are identical. So we do, of course, get a promo in each tin. Here is the Raichu promo. You guys have probably seen these all before by now. I mean, nothing spectacular about it. It's not super playable or anything like that. Uh, the Charizard actually was played for a little bit. Um, I bought the Charizard tin because I played this in a Mew and Mewtwo deck because that Flare Blitz for 300 was amazing. Um, so obviously the Charizard promo is the one that everybody wants to get. This one's, um, I was going to say it was well centred but it's not actually. It's off, left to right and top to bottom. Um, and it's slightly bowed but that's fine by me. I've got loads of these promos by now. Uh, they do come with a code card each. I will be giving away uh, code cards throughout the video and we will start with one of these tins. So here is a code card for you guys. It's the Raichu one. Enjoy that. Um, just gonna. I have, by the way, just a bunch of codes um, that I've put off to one side that I'm not particularly interested in redeeming. Uh, including some Hidden Fates codes. There are Hidden Fates codes in amongst this lot. So I'm going to pull out a couple of codes and put them to one side. Funnily enough, they're kept in the other tin. Uh, <laughs> the Gyarados tin from this trio of tins. That's just a little side note, of course. Um, so yeah, anyway, back to what we actually get. And then, of course, we get the packs. And you tend to get an art set of packs in each tin. We did get an art set in each. We got exactly the same. This was the Raichu. This was the Charizard. So we're just going to plunk them. Way We're going to throw them about. We're going to plunk them on top of each other. We're going to go in eight packs of Hidden Fates. I don't really mind what I pull out of here. I've already got the Charizard. So anything is gravy here. Uh, just check the code cards, they are that way around, that's fine. All the code cards in Hidden Fates are white code cards. So no worries about uh, revealing anything because they are all white code cards because for the most part you're guaranteed a hollow or better. You're not actually guaranteed a hollow, but it's because the Shiny Bolt mini set is in here. So uh, I am going to separate out trainers. Just make my life a little bit easier when I'm sorting these out. There's a Charmeleon. We actually pulled a shiny. <laughs> shiny Diancy, a baby shiny. I'm gonna, um, after this pack, just go and grab some sleeves. But that's a really nice card. I don't actually have this. So Shiny Vault comes in the reverse holo slot. So you do actually have a chance of pulling uh, two ultra rares like a shiny and like an ultra rare and stuff like that so that's a really nice card and a mr mime regular rare so we are going to put the dance up there i'm going to do a little bit of rejigging um so we're going to have rares 
trainers. I'm going to grab some sleeves and I'll be back in a moment. Um, I decided against grabbing the sleeves right now just because I have all my Christmas presents like balanced on top of my Pokemon bag. So we're just going to carry on and I will just be very gentle with the cards. So we're starting off strong with a baby shiny. If we could pull a full art shiny I would be really happy because I've actually only pulled three full art shinies. Um, I think I pulled Bayonet GX. Uh, I know I, I know Bayonet GX was the first one I pulled. Um, can't remember the other one. And then obviously I've, I've actually got the Charizard. You've seen it in a couple of videos. Um, so getting another Charizard would be nice so I can give it to uh, my darling other half. But we're coming up to the Reverse Hollow or the Shiny, which is a Reverse Hollow Chansey. And the rare is a Hollow Brox Training. Uh, oh god, I've got no spaces for anything. I'm just going to put the reverses and the rares together and the trainers. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. I'm sort of chucking things all over the place here. My computer chair is sort of acting as a temporary bin. So first tin, halfway through, we pulled a baby shiny. And it is a baby shiny that I don't have, which is very nice. Um, I just wanted to open something that wasn't Champion's Path and give myself a chance at pulling something nice because Champion's Path has been quite depressing recently. Um, I could have gone for Vivid Voltage, but I'm just I'm sort of... With Vivid Voltage, I'm just kind of buying the cards that I need to play. So, lots of Pokemon in here. I forgot there's a Pikachu. There's a Surge, which is a really playable card. Center Lady as well. And Sabrina's Suggestion. There's a Reverse Jolteon, which I know is a rare. So, no Shiny. And the rare is a regular rare Golem. So, that's Reverse Hollows and Hollows, Pokemon, rares, etc. So, started it off really well. Uh, this is this is the last pack of the first tin, which is the Raichu tin. Um, so, one, two, ah, that one got stuck, there we go. So I felt some texture, um, and I was about to flip it over, I was like, no, I don't think that's the energy card. So I know we've got something in here. Um, I think... If I felt texture, it's a full art. Um, so I'm hoping it's in the shiny vault area. Let's uh, get there fairly rapidly. I can actually, I think you guys can see it too. I can see the border. We've got the reverse fairy energy, which is actually a really nice pull. So no shiny vault, but we know we've got a full art. And it's the full art birds, which is really, really nice. Um, let me get this into focus for you guys. I don't have this card. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't. I've only recently just pulled the regular art bird, so that's a really nice pull for me. Another one for the collection. Um, absolutely beautiful card. So we've got a shiny and a full art out of the first tin. So let's see if the Charizard tin can bring us any more luck. That pack is absolutely shredded. Um, I am going to give away a code card real quick because we did pull an ultra rare. So there's a Crimson Invasion code, I think it is. So have fun with that. Uh, let's see what way the codes are. They are still that way. Good, good, good. One, two, three, energy. One, two. Got to be careful because some of the cards stick together. We have a Voltorb. Pikachu, as I said, I'm going to sort of fly through these a little bit. Because we've probably, a bit like Champion's Path, we've seen most of these cards now. I think we're coming up to the Reverse Hollow. Which is a shiny Beldum. Really nice. Don't know if I have this or not. Um, we'll point out, both Musu packs had a baby shiny in. Which is really cool. And our rare... <laughs> yes, it's a Charizard GX! <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't normally be happy about a Charizard GX, but I actually need this Charizard GX for my binder. I have so many of the promo and have none of the regular GX. So that was a double banger pack. Really, really nice. Um, let's 
move some stuff around up here. Let's get the full art. We'll put the baby shinies next to each other. Uh, like that. And put Charizard there, I guess. I don't know. Space is at a premium. Uh, <laughs> tell you what, we're going to put the, sh the shiny Charizard pack at the bottom. Uh, so because we just we did pull a Charizard, ah! she says throwing, throwing stuff at uh, other stuff. So we've got two shinies, a hollow, uh, and a, two shinies, a regular GX and a full art GX, as well as a hollow energy, which is actually the best hollow energy to get that fairy energy. So. Um, that was a double banger, so I probably should give out another code card. There you go, there's a Burning Shadows code, which is actually really relevant to the Charizard, so... Good luck with that. There's an energy. That feels really thick, that card. I'm genuine, I'm trying not to feel for anything, um, and obviously if you get a baby shiny, you kind of can't feel for that. Because it's all in the... the texture is all up here. So, uh, unless I'm feeling the top of the card, you can't actually feel that. But, getting some trainers. Lieutenant Surge is always a good one to get. So, coming up to a reverse hollow, which is a reverse hollow fighting energy. Always happy to get those. Uh, if we don't get a shiny, a reverse hollow energy is the next best thing for me. And the rare is a regular rare electrode. So, so far, out of six packs, we've got two hollow energies, a full art GX, a regular art GX, and two baby shinies. This has been quite good for me, actually. Um, I haven't had quite this amount of luck from packs for quite a while, so um, we're down to our last two packs here. Um, I do need a couple of the regular GXs, actually, from the set. I need the Mewtwo. Uh, so if we do pull a, an ultra rare from the main set, um, and it's one I need, I'm not going to be upset. Oof. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm looking from this angle so I can see the edge of the cards. There's something in here. Um, I do believe it's at the back there. So we're coming to the reverse hollow, which is a reverse hollow rare Mew, not terrible. And I think we got something here guys. We have a Starmie GX, which is one I believe I already have. Um, don't know if I, I was going to say I don't know if we've been putting the reverse hollows in the right place, but we've got four shinies, well, two shinies and two hollow energies. So, so two GXs, two shinies, one full art, and two hollow energies. Pretty good going. Shiny Charizard is our last pack. I'm going to try very, very hard not to look at this uh, bottom here. It's kind of hard to do because I'm doing a bird's eye view that I sort of look at this edge so I can see. But I'm actually just going to look at my screen whilst I'm recording this so I don't see at all any part of the cards. So I will be with you on the surprise here. So this is the shiny Charizard pack. Hopefully there's a shiny Charizard in it. That would be cool. Um, I think we're coming up to the reverse hollow. We are, that's a reverse holo R box, so no shiny, but that is a reverse holo rare. And our last card is a holo Vaporeon. So, how do I go about rounding this up? Um, the reverse holo energies aren't really a pull, um, but I think I will put them in this order. So, for the roundup, we'll put the promos in as well. So, the roundup we have. We pulled the Raichu GX and the Charizard GX promos. Then we also got two Hollow Energies. One of them is the Fairy Energy, which I'm really happy to get because Fairy, as most of you will know, is not being printed as a type in the TCG anymore. So um, Fairy Energies are going to become quite... Uh, Desirable. That's the word I was looking for. So two hollow energies. I'm going to sort of stagger them like that. Like that. We got the regular Charizard GX. So we did pull a Charizard in this. We didn't pull the shiny Charizard, but I pulled a Charizard I needed, which I'm really happy with. 
alongside a Starmy GX. So two uh, regular GX pulls there. Two shinies. Um, no full art shinies, but two baby shinies. We got the Beldum hol uh, shiny and the Diancy shiny. So two decent shinies there. And then for me, oi. For me, the pull uh, <laughs> upside down is the full art birds. I absolutely love this card. I think it's a really, really nice burst of colour. Um, I think the white background actually does this justice as well. I think it just makes the colours pop even more. So uh, I'm actually going to leave you guys looking at this card whilst I do my outro, which I would love if you stick around for just because, you know, um, I appreciate you might skip the end of the video, but you never know. I might give out some code cards at the end of the video, so stick around. So that's going to be it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, of course if you did please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, feel free to share this video with your friends if you think you know somebody who may also enjoy watching a video like this. Let me know in the comment section down below if it's enabled, um, which I will do my best to try and make sure it is enabled, but let me know in the comment section below what was your favourite poll from what I pulled out of here, um, and if you've been opening Hidden Fates recently, what has been your best poll? Go ahead and check out the playlist in the description below. I may make a Hidden Fates playlist because I don't think I have one. I think I opened a lot of Hidden Fates off camera, sort of during my um, hiatus period. Um, I just opened a load of stuff without recording because I stopped doing YouTube for a while. Um, and also let me know in the comment section below if you want me to open these promo packs that I got given for free. I might see if I can go and get some more. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about that. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.